this is um, Sabrina Silva. Um, my students call me Miss Silva. Anyway, this is my daughter, Evie. Hi. Uh, this video is the beginning of a series of videos that will teach you basic skills on the Zimbabwe marimbas. The marimbas that are behind here, we're gonna be working on these today. Now, a lot of people tend to be intimidated, say, oh, I can't play marimba, it's too hard. These particular ones have letters on them, so they're easier to follow. This video, will focus on what I think is one of the key elements to playing marimbas as a group, uh, and that is steady beat. But not only steady beat, it's being able to maintain that steady beat with a leader. That can be a big challenge, right? Follow the leader. Follow the leader. Um, I also have a one minute play along video, like a minute and eight seconds, and it has a song that I wrote uh, to help with steady beat. And if you just wanna skip to the ending of this video, just to go straight to the play along, I'll leave the timestamp below. So, um, I've been teaching music in music privately and in the school setting about two decades, almost 20 years. <gasps> wow. <laughs> it has been about 20 years. But I have been an official certified Texas teacher for 12 years. And I taught kindergarten through fifth grade. They all played on marimbas in my classroom. I also had a performance group, uh, Farabongo Marimba Ensemble, and this was an, an amazing group of kids. The group was so great that they went to, we went to San Antonio to play the Texas Music Educators Association. We were invited twice to go. We also played in Austin for the state capitol uh, for the goarts.org campaign. And I also, I also ran some junior high marimba camps during the summer. I'm, I'm not an expert. I'm not gonna say I'm an expert at teaching marimba, but I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot both as a teacher and a player. What do you think? Do you think I'm a pretty good teacher? Best, best, <laughs> the best. Okay, thank you. And then she's not getting paid or getting anything to say that. So I, I, hope, I hope you'll take her word for it. So please subscribe to this channel if you enjoy these types of videos, if you think you might be if you think you might be interested in learning more, like this video if you think it was very helpful. Also, don't forget to hit the notifications bell because this video is part of a series. So there's gonna be four more videos. Um, also, you can go to our website, katiemarimba.com. I'm in the middle of planning a back to school kind of workshop. I'm not sure. You yeah, that's, told me about that's that. That's the first time she's heard about that. It's all up here. It's all up here right now. I just need to put it on paper and make it official. We have a Facebook page now, so I'm not sure if you can easily find it because I just started it. And like that page so that way you can also be kept up with all kinds of stuff that's coming up. We do have a mini camp going on from July 15th through the 19th. Right now the morning still has three spots open. So if you are interested, you can comment below or and I'll come I'll get back to you on with more information or you can go to the website, you can go to the Facebook page. Three. That's why I have her here to help me remember. For, for this video, you're going to need two things. First, you're going to need something that will resemble a mallet. So these are the mallets that we use. This is not something that everybody has in their closet so or their drawer. You're gonna need something that will represent that. Um, you can get a couple of rulers that will help, or pencils too. Something to mimic the motion of a mallet. Stick, stick to like a, stick a stick mm -hmm. in a styrofoam ball and just yeah, you can you can also DIY your own mallet. Let's see here. Now a marimba, that's another thing you're gonna need is some sort of marimba type instrument. I don't know if you have a couple of these at home. Most people don't, but there are some options. I do have this little guy. This is a, a, marimba, a marimba that I got off of Amazon. I can actually link this uh, uh, this below. And if you have something similar to this, like even if you have one of those um, toy xylophones that, that uh, kids metal. normally have, the ones with the metal bars, they are relatively in tune. And so that will help you with the motions as well. I, I'm also gonna link below a paper marimba. A paper marimba will just work just fine. Granted, you won't hear the sound, but it's something, it's something for you to practice on. That way when you do get a chance to be in a marimba group, like in Katie Marimba, you'll be more familiar with it and it won't, it won't seem so intimidating. Now, you got your materials? We're gonna do something called a clap test. I'm just simply gonna clap my hands and you are gonna, you are gonna clap with me and we're gonna try to stay at the same pace. Should we do eight or 16? Eight, I guess. Eight, okay, <laughs> we're gonna do eight. All right, so we're gonna try to stay together for eight counts. 
Ready, set, here we go. And stop. Okay, so now what I want you to do is take your mallet. You wanna take this one? Sure. I'll take this one, all right. When you're playing marimba, it's not just about striking the instrument, it's making the mallet bounce, bounce up. Bless you too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't wanna press into it. You just wanna bounce off of it. Ready, set, here we go. What? Oh, did you see what I just did? Did you catch that? When I said the word go, I didn't go right away. I actually lifted my mallet up and then started counting. That's a key secret, that's a key Probably. secret. Wait for the word go and then lift your mallet up. So it's gonna be ready, set, here we go. All right, and oh. that will that will set you up for success. Try it again. I promise not to stop again. Okay, ready, set, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and stop. Good. Now, one thing that I wanted you to pay attention to was not just how you brought your mallet down, but how you brought it up too. One and two and three and four. It's important that you do not bring your mallet too far behind you. You probably are gonna be offbeat. You could hurt yourself or someone around you. So you don't want either, either of those things to happen. So let's try this again. Ready, set, here we go. One, One and two, two and three and four and five and six and seven and, and stop. eight. Switch hands. It feels weird holding this mallet with just one hand. Be aware of striking down and coming up. Ready, set, good luck, here we go. One, One and two, two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Good. I did it! What I want you to do now is find a place where you can play with both hands. Carpet is great, play right there on the floor. <laughs> on a table is fine if you're at a table right now or at a desk. I'm actually gonna use a towel to cover it so that way um, number one, it, it maintains the integrity of wherever you're striking. You're not gonna leave any marks or anything. You're less likely to bother people around you. Um, if you're watching this in your living room and your family is watching their favorite show and all of a sudden you start banging on, on a table, they may not like that so much. Go ahead and get something, just something that you can strike with both hands. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice with two mallets. We're not really concerned about playing notes just yet. So we just wanna get used to balancing one, uh, one mallet versus the other. Go ahead and try this together. It does not matter which hand you start with, just pick a hand, pick your favorite hand to start with. Ready, set, back and forth, here we go. And one and two and three and four and five. Good. And stop, excellent. So now what I wanna do is I actually want to lead with the ho-sho. So this is where follow the leader comes in. These are my ho-sho. This is what I use to lead the marimba group. I find that having the second one really helps students hear that subdivided beat and they're more likely to stay with the beat because not only are they making sure they strike with this one, but they're also listening for this one in between. This is the strike shaker and this is the hand, and this is the and shaker. Yeah, so this is the beat shaker and this is the and shaker. Um, so let's see what that sounds like. Ready, set, ready and stop. How are you doing so far? How are you doing so far? Is this really hard or is this really simple? Is it, how is it for you? Well, since I've had experience, uh, mm -hmm. continue. Uh, it's kind of easy, but before it was really hard. And now we're gonna actually get to some playing. I want you to find the letters C, G, E, G. Uh, try to use both hands. Don't just use your strong hand. Get that weak hand in there. C, G, E, G. Okay. Now, what I want to do is add to that. I want to play two F's and two G's. So it's going to be F, F, G, G. So now what I want to do is put those two parts together. Ready, set, here we go. C, G, G, two F's, two G's. Do it again. C, 
C, G, E, G, two Fs, and two Gs. Ready, set, and stop. Excellent. How is that so far? Is that pretty good? Oh. Evie, how is that so far? Is that pretty good? Uh, that was good. That was good. Okay. I'm sure you did it. You did it better than I did. Okay. What I want you to do now, I have a couple of challenges. Play that pattern just with your right hand or your strong hand, your dominant hand. Just one hand. Here we go. C, E, 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 And stop. Excellent. Switch hands. Do, do, do. Now try it with your weak hand and see how that works out for you. Ready, <laughs> set, here we go. Excellent. All right, so then you can try it. Let's try it lightly. Let's play it softly. Yeah, so here we go. Ready, set, here we go. Do it again. strong hand get comfortable with it play it with your weak hand and then play it with alternating hands and try playing it softer go ahead and play it loud do not play it fast and I know that's easier said than done because there's there's always somebody who has it in their head that to be a good marimba player you got to learn how to play fast well, well, yeah, but there's a second part to that because if you think about when you were learning how to walk when you ride a bicycle when you're on a roller skate you, it's not like you hop on that bike and you just take off and never fall. You gotta start slow. You start slow or go training wheels. And unfortunately, there's no training wheels for a mallet, so it's something that you have to get control of because the last thing you want is for these to take control of themselves because, oh my gosh, it can be a little bit chaotic. So do not play this pattern fast, even if you think it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Play it slow, trust me. Now, to end this video, I do have a one minute play along. This play along has three parts to it because it's the entire song. You are going to play along with the bottom frame. I use that acapella app, which is really cool to use, by the way. I never figured out how to use it. It's really cool once you know how to use it. You're gonna follow the bottom part of the play along. Okay, that's the pattern that you just learned. So don't worry about learning a new pattern. You just played it and you just practiced it. You are also gonna have a second part and a third part playing along with you. And I also have the host show leading you as well. So that way you can get an idea of what to listen for. After the video is done, leave me a comment below to tell me how you did. Let me know if it's too easy, too difficult. Hopefully it's not too difficult. If there is some skill that you are interested in learning how to do and want me to focus on it for a video, let me know. I mean, I have my, my five skills that I wanna focus on, but by golly, if there's something that you want me to focus on, let me know in the comments below. Before you go to the play along, one more thing. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't, and don't forget, forget to hit the, the notification bell. The notifications bell because I am gonna be making a second video with the second skill builder video and it's gonna be a series. So make sure you do that. Check out katiemarimba.com for more information about um, events coming up and all the other stuff that's going on with Katie Marimba. And don't forget the Facebook page. Hey, we hope you enjoy the play along and have fun with it. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.